What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're getting ready to paint this Silverado. And this is just going to be a passenger side only. The driver's side, I had already painted it along with the roof and the hood. Those are already done. So today we're only gonna focus on the passenger side. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty much ready for the paint. I already sanded it down, did the body work. I sprayed the primer, wrapped it in plastic, and you know, pretty much ready. Right now what I'm gonna do is just uh, throw some water on the floor. That way whenever I'm dragging the air hose just back and forth, I don't pick up any dust. Or, you know, whenever I'm walking back and forth, I don't pick up any dust that'll land on the first paint. But other than that, we're pretty much ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the paint. Here's the paint kit. This is the base coat clear coat. And the brand is Autobahn. All the links will be in the description. So be sure to check those out. So since the truck is already a Victory Red, I bought the same color, Victory Red. And the way I'm gonna reduce this is on a one to one. So whatever I add on the base coat is the same amount that I'm gonna add on the reducer. Over here I have the clear coat. This is the Glamour Clear. And this one, you know, this one is very user friendly. It stretches out really nicely, gives you a nice gloss straight out from the gun. So that's one of the reasons that I like this brand. Uh, so this one mixes on a 4 to 1 ratio, so it's 4 parts clear coat to 1 part activator. And today I'm using the medium speed because outside is not cold, but it's just fresh. So that's the paint that I'm going to be using. And I'll go through all the mixing stuff uh, whenever I'm ready. Um, this is the spray gun that I'm using. This is the Italco. This is the H3000. It's a 1.3. And this gun is really, really good. I use this anything for base coats, clear coats, candies, inner coats, stuff like that. So that's the gun that I'm gonna use. What I'm gonna do is just, uh, I pretty much have everything ready. I'm gonna set you guys right now on the tripod. We're gonna begin with mixing the base coat. We'll mix it and then I'll set you guys ready so you guys can see uh, the paint. And the way I'm gonna start painting this, I'm gonna give it its first passes right here on the grape areas like the primer just give it a first pass on those areas and then I'll begin with the full coats three full coats of base over the whole truck and then we'll jump over to the clear so let me just go ahead and get ready and uh, right now I'll cut you guys back in and we'll start painting Air pressure is at 30. Alright guys, so this was just to cover up some of the primer areas. 
it's just a really quick pass just to get everything just a little bit more uniform everything the same color and uh, now I'm gonna start spraying the first coat so here we go So I just refilled the cup. Got my mask on? Yeah, no, I do. Alright guys, so this is uh, three coats of paint. So the first coat, or the first batch, I mixed one to one ratio, and it was pretty thin. What I was doing is just 
adding layers of uh, thin layers of paint that way it could just get the whole truck just looking uniform and just getting some you know more paint like more red more red within each layer um, on the second pass on the second coat I added just a little bit more paint to that same batch uh, that way it could just be a little bit more thicker and I covered up some pieces right here where I removed the trim there was a small spot that was primer and then over here it was a darker primer uh, over here where I removed the Silverado emblem there was a, a patch of uh, that darker primer the light light primer light gray primer that I had sprayed that one covered really well and then the first coat it covered really well uh, the darker ones you know like it needed a few coats so uh, the second coat the second coat I just added a little bit more paint and then that covered really well now did the third coat which this is where we're at right now the third coat was in time lapse so next I'm gonna go ahead and spray one more coat now this I mixed a one to one uh, up to a number three with base and then up to a number three with reducer so total is it's about 17 ounces of paint so these 17 ounces the spray gun is empty right now so I'm just gonna add them with a filter I'm gonna add it to the spray gun and I'm gonna spray it kind of like a control coat uh, like if you had metallic uh, so I'm gonna get the whole truck wet you know just keep on spraying just keep on spraying that way the whole truck is just wet and then everything just dries off complete at once some of the overspray might come this way it's just a possibility the fans are over there but that's why I'm starting from this side and just working my way downtown all right so you know what actually i'm just gonna add this to the spray gun and what i'm thinking i'm gonna go ahead and just paint right here i don't have an actual mount that i could you know hold it hold the camera right here but i'm gonna hold it with my hand and um if there's some angles that you know i go off frame i'm just trying to focus more on the paint but it seems like i could do it just holding the camera while spraying so let me just go ahead and just add this paint to the spray gun and we'll give it a shot so here we go all right guys so we're gonna start painting if my voice sounds muffled or if it sounds like darth vader's breathing down your back uh it's because i had the mask on so we're ready to paint uh but here we are just uh, zoom out just a little bit all right. here we're gonna paint like the fender we ended up right here we're gonna paint the whole door and we're gonna finish off right here when you finish off feather it don't stop right here it makes a line you just feather it and stick it out Something like that.
Right now I get to the very, very top. Right now I get that arrow. Oh, we actually finished the paint right there. I right, could have mixed uh, just a little bit more, but... Mm, pretty good. I'll probably add just a little bit more. Just to finish just one last, you know, pass for the top at the very end but 17 like ounces or 18 ounces did this whole side which was i guess um you know nine about nine ounces of base nine ounces of reducer so one of the things let me see check this out now and i go outside real quick but check this out uh, I got another another gallon of clear and the activator is over here so this one I got it uh, just in case just in case I don't have enough with that gallon of clear I have uh, I have a new one so I'm gonna go ahead and just let this dry I'll come back in a few minutes just check it and um, I'll see if uh, we'll jump over to the clear coat and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and inspect this footage, see the camera angle, you know, see how it came out. But other than that, I'll cut you guys back in once we're ready to spray the clear. This is the Glamour Clear, it's 4 to 1. Right here is the 4 to 1 ratio. All right guys, I have the clear already in the spray gun. And, oops, here's a truck ready for for clear coat. So there's the base. I did four coats actually of the base coat. And there we have it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying the clear. I'm gonna set you guys on a time lapse uh, just keep the camera at one angle it seems just better for me instead of having to move the camera around 
um, but I'm gonna keep you guys right here like around this angle and uh, so you guys can watch the whole the whole uh, side All right, guys, so there's a truck. Uh, I went ahead and took off the uh, plastic from the wheels, the windows, and the whole top plastic. Um, and I also installed the hood. It is dusty. You know, we haven't done the, of course, uh, sand and polish, but stay tuned to the channel. I'll get to that one. Uh, another thing I need to do is just uh, these bumper corners right here. These are pretty decent. Uh, there's a little peeling clear right there but they're pretty decent in shape like this one right here it just has a few little scratches right here that can real easily be sanded high build primed and then painted but uh, we're gonna swap these out to the ones that have the fog lights right here the owner already brought them to me right now I'll show them to you uh, but pretty much the whole truck is already painted for the exception of the tailgate and the brand new bumper corners but let me go ahead and show you. All right, here they are. I think this is the driver's side, but I don't know what side this fog light is. So I just put it in here just for reference. Uh, but we got both the corners right there. We'll just prime them and paint them. We have the fog lights and the owner also brought in the third stop light right here. This is LED. So... We're gonna install this one. This is probably after we sand and polish the truck, but check it out. Also some brand new headlights. So the old ones are over there. They are, you know, faded. If you guys wanna see a little restoration on sanding and clear coating them, uh, let me know in the comments, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, show you guys, it gives them a couple more months of life. Uh, but if they're cracked from the inside, you can still see some of the cracks. Uh, but brand new headlights, you know, always changes the look of the vehicle. Here's the other bumper corner and uh, the fog light. But, yeah guys, <clears throat> so this truck, uh, or this video is pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and just finish editing it, uploading it. And I'm going to continue working on, you know, the bumper corners and the tailgate for the next video, guys. Uh, for now, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Peace out.